the Cyber Method, a 12 week day by day guide to health, wellness, and fat loss for all levels. George Stavro of the Stavro Method. Hi again, everyone. George Stavro here from the Stavro Method with video two. In my first video, I covered the following my personal challenges with the various health and fat loss programs and the mistakes I've made along the way. How oh, excess fat contributes to a number of health conditions high blood pressure, cancer, risk of stroke, diabetes, etc. And why your body weight is not the only number to look at as it relates to your health. There are also other factors to consider. In today's video, I will cover something that's confusing to many of us, nutrition and diet. I will answer the following for you. What to eat and what not to eat to help you lose fat and feel healthier. Is there really one diet that works for everyone? And can eating organic foods actually hinder my progress and make me sick? You will be surprised at what you are about to learn. Diet. There are hundreds of diets on the market today. How do you know which one to follow? Why does one diet work for someone but you feel worse on it? Let's take another look at the picture below. Here are some questions on just nutrition that I'd like you to consider. Should you go high carb, low carb, or no carb? Are the so-called healthy foods making you fat and sick? Do you know that eating the same 10 to 15 foods can cause problems? Are you allergic intolerant to some foods without even knowing it? And is there really one diet that does fit all? Question 1. High carb, low carb, or no carb? It depends. Some people tolerate more carbs than others. Let's look at people that live in different parts of the world. By the way, I'm looking at people living on food that is unprocessed and is part of their environment. I am not looking at processed foods that have found their way into our daily lives. What do Eskimos at the North and South Pole live on? Primarily healthy protein from animals and good fats with minimal access to any kind of plant food at all. If low or lower carbs were not healthy, would they not have died off as a culture? What do people that live near the equator live on? Higher carbs with lower amounts of animal protein and healthy fats. If high or higher carbs were not healthy, would they not also have died off as a culture? How is it possible for these two extremes to be healthy, fit, and lean, even though they are eating entirely different foods? Here's something I learned from two experts in the area of nutrition, Dr. Moro Di Pasquale and Eric Serrano. Food is fuel, but not everyone thrives on the same type of fuel. Would you put diesel in a gas-using vehicle? I hope not. While they are both types of fuels for cars, they are meant for specific vehicles. This is the same idea for our own specific needs. Question 2. Are the so-called healthy foods make me fat and sick? How can this be so? This ties into the answer for question 1. Just because it's a food in its natural state, it does not mean that it's healthy for your particular needs. Remember that you can't put diesel into a gas heating car and expect it to run properly. Question 3. Do you know that eating the same 10 to 15 foods can cause problems? Why is that? Let me tell you. Eating the same food day in and day out, you run the risk of taking too much of some vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients, etc and too little of others. When this goes on too long, you can be deficient in some of the above. The key is to have as much variety as possible to be sure you are getting enough of what you need for optimal health. Question four, are you allergic or intolerant to some foods without even knowing it? Many of us know of someone that has peanut allergies and they can be deadly. This is known as an IgE reaction, which can take place immediately and up to two hours later. The good news is you can figure out which food or liquid cause a reaction, but the bad news is that you can die from it if not treated soon enough. For those of you with an IgE reaction, always keep an epi pen with you. Have you heard of IgG reaction? These can take place anywhere from two hours up to several days later. I've also heard some experts claim that you may get a reaction that shows up several weeks after consuming the problem food, liquid, etc. If that is the case, how can you figure out what to avoid? Food elimination diets take too long, and the infamous RAS test 
scratch test is not the most reliable way to determine your problem foods. Question five, is there one diet that really does fit all? Before I answer that, I want to share some important information. Many eating plans are static in nature. This means that they often take a look at an individual's body weight to prescribe not only how many calories they should consume daily, but also break down the calories from carbs, fat, and protein within that daily amount. For example, if two people are 200 pounds, one of them has 20% body fat, the other has 10% body fat, would their daily caloric needs be the same? Would the ratio of carbs to fat to protein be the same? And would their activity level affect the above? What we need is not a static diet, but a dynamic one. One that takes into consideration the above items and much, much more. I, along with my team of nutrition experts that I consulted with, have come up with an eating plan that may help with your health, fitness, and fat loss efforts. Introducing the Stavro Diet. The Stavro Diet is a new and healthier way of eating to help you with your weight control efforts. It's easy to follow, it's healthy, allows you to eat so-called forbidden foods several times a week. Think of it as five to six steps forward and one to two steps back. You still make progress in the long run without depriving yourself. Takes into consideration the healthy foods that you may have allergies and tolerances to without even knowing it. It helps you determine your ideal meal program based on your personal needs. Sometimes not knowing what to eat and not having enough variety can make or break your fat loss program. This recipe book is based on the principles in the Stavro diet and the meal plans were created by one of the top nutritionist chefs in Toronto. Not only are the meals healthy for you, they taste great and are simple to prepare. You can spend just a few hours on the weekend preparing your meals and you'd be set up for the rest of the week. The Stavro diet is a new and healthy way of eating to help you with your weight control efforts. It's easy to follow. It's healthy. Allows you to eat so-called forbidden foods several times a week. Once again, think of it as five to six steps forward and one to two steps back. You still make progress in the long run without depriving yourself. It takes into consideration the healthy foods that you may have allergies and intolerance to without you even knowing it. It helps you determine your ideal meal program based on your personal needs. And now for the bonus I promised you for watching today's video. One week of meal plans from the Stavro diet. Click on this link to access the PDF. It has a week's worth of fabulous recipes that are simple to make and taste great. You can also find the link in the description that goes along with this video. Stay tuned for our next video. I will answer the following for you on exercise program. Why one program does not fit all. Which level do you start on? And how long to stay on a program? Until next time, I wish you all the happiness, health, and abundance you desire. You're in the health and fitness. George Stavro.